So this house earns me £29,000 a year. And the best part, I only bought it for £47,000. We converted it from a four bed into a five bed HMO with planning permission granted and it's now worth £200,000. And I want to take you for a tour. So this is bedroom number one. Uh, we like to name our houses. Uh, so this is District 70. And we've gone for the industrial theme throughout the whole house. Uh, and you'll, as you'll be able to see, we've got brick slips um, used in the desk area. Our target market is students and working professionals because we have the university and the hospital close by. We have you know, a fairly good sized built-in wardrobe, but the tenants are moving in at the minute, so I'm not going to go in. The ensuite, again, an industrial style theme with the black fixtures and fittings on the shower, uh, the taps, uh, and the mirror. And we also have a lovely uh, splash back at the back of the mirror, which was, you know, just from yeah, B&Q wooden slats and then just pin gunned on. We feel like it gives a great feature. And in every room, we tried to go for a feature wall. This particular wall was a concrete effect paint uh, from Craig and Rose, and we're very happy with it. I'll take you through into bedroom number two. Oh, this is interesting. So, uh, these are actually part of the original plans for the planning permission that we uh, submitted for the HMO, which was uh, thankfully approved. So we had them blown up and put on. Um, this is the clock, it doesn't actually work. So we put a little quote underneath, you know, I think it's just nice features that we were trying to add to an industrial style house, which is pretty cool. I'll take you through into bedroom two, very bright. Uh, this is uh, a feature wall, Egyptian cotton, with, again, important to have some kind of desk area and study area. This is the smallest bedroom in the house, and this one rents for £110 a week. And if you just turn around, we've got the ensuite in here, if you want to have a look. Again, industrial style theme. And the colour of the wall is a, it's just a light grey. Just show you here so we have like our little branding techniques that we like to use as part of libra spaces and this is again like a little you know a walking wardrobe good size storage double rails and then some boxes at the bottom the idea when we built it when we renovated this house was to kind of create like an outdoor theme in the hallways and then like you're stepping inside to a new kind of house you know new place on the inside so this is the co-living area we go for you know quite a large workspace area particularly for the rooms which benefits if they've got a small desk in their room we like to kind of compensate them with this as well to the kitchen area um, very very pleased with the way this kitchen worked out we've got an inbuilt fridge and freezer in there oven, microwave, and then all the washing facilities in here with the washing machine and the tumble dryer. In fact, you can just kind of check it out. So they're all freestanding, which we kind of put a cupboard bespoke to it. We always use induction hob. We feel like it's uh, you know a lot safer than gas hobs. And yeah, again, the brick slip walls, brick slips wall, which gives it a great feature. And it's also important in this year to brand your property. So we feel like it's an important part. We've rented out houses you know, in the future for next year based on this one and the other houses that we haven't even you know, started renovating yet, but they see the standard of this. So we are obviously part of Libra Spaces so they can see the standard that we're doing them to. And we get a lot of interest from tenants, which is great. And they seem to appreciate the, the design and the high spec that we're going for, which is, which is perfect. Let's head upstairs and see what we've got. So the stair carpets, this was just a, like a nice little runner that we decided to put in. The first bedroom at the top is £95 a week. So what we tried to do here was kind of match this feature wall here with the feature wall behind the bed with LED light kind of shooting round. And this is actually one of the most popular rooms. It's one of the smallest, but we always seem to get a lot of interest on this room. Potentially it's price driven, but they also seem just to like it because it's quite cozy and it has one of the biggest en-suites in the house. These are our wardrobes, sliding door wardrobes that we built at Bespoke. Again, two rails here and here. And some nice kind of storage area here with some, you can put some black boxes in there uh, for storage space. If you want to check out the ensuite. Again, it's, you know, it's one of the biggest ensuites that we have in this house by square meterage. And behind the shower it's actually um, it's real brick it's the brick from the outside sealed it all and make sure that it's it's watertight and waterproof so 
yeah, very pleased with this, with the way this room turned out, considering the space that we had. And we also matched up a little vanity area with a mirror and some shelving as well. Going to bedroom four and five, these are the two biggest bedrooms in the house. The most popular, the floor is micro cement, which was a pain, but very durable. We are happy with the way it turned out, it was very expensive. This is my favourite part with the, the feature light on the floor, and it looks pretty cool. Let me show you the ensuite. So we've got tenants living here at the minute. This is a dark themed ensuite with the real brick to your right hand side that we decided to expose and the concealed shower taps and units. One of the feature walls, we decided to run a, a theme throughout the house with the wooden slats. It's something that we like to do. We try and keep one theme running throughout the house. It might be a particular color. It might be a theme like a wooden slat wall. And we really think that it ties in nicely with the house. We also matched up the desk area. So the back of the area is micro cement, which is the same as the floor. Just trying to create that industrial theme, nice and modern, add a bit of the, the cozy touches. I was trying to make it more you know, biophilic. It's nice, it, it works re really well. And the hallway, we feel like it's a forgotten space. In some HMOs, you'll just see, you know, a completely blank area here. We decided to put like a unit in at the bottom, a little place just to store things, coat rack and stuff. So as long as it's not a trip hazard for the stairs and the fire exits, it should be fine. So something that we like to do. Finally, moving into the final bedroom. You know, this is the beast. This is the biggest bedroom we've got. We have the big wardrobe there. It's all built in. We have two rails, one at the top, one at the bottom, uh, a nice drawer area storage boxes. If you want to check out the ensuite, then I'll talk you through. This is uh, all micro cement. Again, we went for a very high finish with the uh, high level flush toilet system and the wooden worktops with the micro cement and the brick. Uh, we feel it really works, really works well. This is the biggest shower in the house. I think it's like 900 by 800 or something. And again, we've matched up with the micro cement at the back with the floor. With the kitchen, we couldn't get regulations to have um, a hob and a sink in here and the reason is is you know you got to be very careful because the valuation office and the council they kind of were very similar ways they will try and add a separate council tax to this room with cooking facilities or washing facilities we didn't put them in so we call it a dry kitchen area with plenty of storage you could have a kettle and a microwave and it works perfectly the tenants seem to love it uh, again with the wooden slat walls just behind the behind the bed again the nice little feature on the floor with the light when oh, it turns on Bit of Netflix on a night time, it's a lovely little light to have on. And the desk area for the, for the students and the working professionals. All handmade, or all, you know, bespoke and crafted. It was actually myself that kind of cut all this out. This was a little tour, a little property tour of a finished five bedroom HMO. But the figures on this, 29,000 pounds a year, a new valuation of 200,000, only bought for 47,000 and we spent 50,000 pounds on it. A fantastic project. We're going to be refinancing, pulling all the money out using the BRR method, which will be on another video on how you can do this. Buy, refurbish, refinance, pull all your money out, start recycling, get more properties, get higher cash flow and start living a nice, cushy life, hopefully. If you enjoyed this video and you want to see more content like this, hit the video with a like, subscribe to the channel and put that little notifications bell on in the top corner. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.